This e-learning lesson is going to cover triggers. We're going to learn what a trigger is, how to use a trigger, and also how to add a new trigger. So for this, we're going to go to Wise Option, and anywhere you can access the Add Procedure, you can find your triggers, and we're going to use this one from the main screen, the Procedure button, and we're going to click Trigger up here on the top. So this is our, our triggers. The reason you would add a trigger is if one uh, event causes several other things to happen. Some of the examples I have to show you are uh, when a new foal is born. I'm going to set up the IGG task as done the same day that he's born. I'm going to set up the two foal plasmas at 3 and 25 days. I'm going to set up his um, deworming and first vaccination and also the deworming and second vaccination. And you can go on and on with which what, whatever is applicable at your place. Um, there's also one for a pregnant mare. I want to make sure she's lined up for all of her um, future pneuma boards as well as her palpations and also her pre bowling vaccination. And this is another one that when um, perhaps the veterinarian orders your horse to be on um, a certain drug for a certain period of time, you can, if it's something that they do frequently, you can go ahead and put in all seven days. So, it's, for example, this one is SMZs for seven days. So I have my SMZ BID task. The first one is set as done for that day, and then the next six ones are generated as reminders. And to learn more about reminders, you can uh, view the reminder e-learning. So this will be the triggers that we have set up. Your imagination is only um, where you're limited. Um, I would advise you against setting up things like your farrier that are recurring tasks. These are not for recurring. This happens for one event. So if a mare is pregnant, then all of this other stuff happens. Or if a mare foals, all of this other stuff happens. Or if your horse is sick, it gets treated for seven days. Um, you can always trigger it again. Like, for example, this antibiotic, if the horse is not better after seven days, you can always re-trigger it for another seven. Um, so keep in mind, those are the kind of things we want to use for triggers. So let's set up um, a new trigger, and we'll add trigger. And this trigger description is going to be um, a foaling, and this one is going to be applied to the mare, because I have the foaling foal up here, and I'm going to add the foaling mare. So I've added the new trigger. It's right here. And now I'm going to start adding my events that are going to happen after that mare foals. So I'm going to go down here once this mare is selected, or once the trigger is selected, we're going to add event. And I've got to pick my task. So for this one, my first task is the foaling fee. And I believe it is a procedure. It is. So there's my foaling fee. And I'm going to do that at zero for my period. And you get to choose from days, weeks, months, or years. So this is going to be zero days. And this period is going to come off of your target date right here. So your target date is the date where you start this time period. And we'll go over that in just a minute whenever we actually add the procedure. And since it's something that doesn't actually have to be completed every time a mare is foaled, um, she gets a foaling fee. So we're going to set it as done. If it was an optional thing that maybe you needed to be reminded to um, check whether or not you wanted to bill, we're going to leave it as undone. This happens every time. So we'll save it. And it's now been added to that trigger. The next one is going to be deworming. We will deworm every horse after she foals, and we'll do it the day after she foals. So my one day from my period date, and it's going to be undone because it's not actually been accomplished whenever we set this up. So we're going to leave it as undone. She'll then show up either on your procedure manager or on your daily worksheet, whichever one you use. So we'll save this. And then the last one is going to be, um, because we're a reproduction farm, I'm going to have her walk through the stocks, which my palpation or my rescheduling task happens to be check mare. And we're going to do her six days from foaling as undone. So I'm going to save this. This is going to be my foaling mare trigger. And then to use this, I'll close this just so that we all come from the same place. To use this, you, again, can access it anywhere. You can add a procedure. Go to your triggers. Choose which trigger you want to be applied. So again, you only have to set this up one time. This is from what we did last time. And we're going to pick our horse. Um, we will use this horse right here. My target date, let's say, for example, that she foaled yesterday. So we can put yesterday's date in and get it. So that's our target date. And then we're just going to tell it to generate the procedures. Say, yes, that is the correct date. and it will add all three procedures. So that's it. We're done. 
And so now if I go to her, I'm going to be able to see in her procedures where we've um, added the following fee is done, so it's marked as done, and if I do undone, I'm going to see the two ones that I've added um, as undone. And if we look at the done one, since we folded her out yesterday on 4-4, it was a day ago, and if I look at undone, then the one that we did the deworm for the next day is actually today, and if I wanted to go in and look at that, I could double click it, and all I would need to do is mark done, and save it, and now the only thing left is in five days we have a palpation, but all of that is scheduled. It works the very same way um, if we were to do the SMZ. So I will show you that one. Again, we just open the procedure, go to trigger. We're going to do the SMZs. We'll pick a horse. We're going to pick the target date. Let's make it be today. And then we're going to generate procedures. We'll say yes, that's the correct date. It added seven procedures without me having to do anything. And I can look up her. And if we look up her procedures, there's the first one that we gave today, and here are the next six. So as you can see, that is how you would add your procedures and then um, actually add them to the horse. If you want to modify one of your triggers, say this, um, the pregnant mare, we would rather not have the pre foaling on there, so I can highlight my pre foal and click Remove Event and it will remove it from my trigger so that the next time I activate my trigger it won't include that. But perhaps we want to add a check for a CASLIC or to remove a CASLIC. So I can add event. So here's my CASLIC. And we're going to do 310 days. And this is going to be from her last breeding date. That's how these triggers are set up, five, seven, and nine months from her last breeding date. So you can edit those all that you want. So for today, we've learned what a trigger is and some of the reasons that you would enter triggers, how to actually add a new trigger, and how to use triggers.